Hello everyone, it's Elizabeth from The Smart Stitcher. In this week's video, we're going to show you how to use a pricking to transfer your design for thread art. I give you a couple of examples that I use and then I finish by just sort of putting a little bit of a historical context on where I first learnt about this particular technique. If you find there's a particular style or type of design that you like drawing, you can use a piece of paper and mark your design on and prick the holes so that when you come to then sort of do the design again, if you wanted to sort of experiment with position or placement, you don't have to draw everything out. Although drawing everything out is actually quite sort of nice and therapeutic in its own way. Um, having a, a sort of a tracing that you can use can really sort of help sort of move things along if you just wanted to get on with some sewing. So what I've done here is I've drawn my axis, I've got my vertical and my horizontal axis, I've also got another example here where I've drawn and marked out my square. I've gone through with my pricking needle and I have made the holes in the tracing paper so if I wish to then use say um, a sheet of nice paper or coloured card, maybe even something that you've painted, you don't necessarily want to be rubbing out on that surface because it the rubber could take some of the surface of the paper off. So you can then position your design where you want it to go. Obviously you want to hold it stable so weight it down some, some way shape or form of preventing it from moving and then you can just go through the holes onto your card and you've got your design but you haven't got any rubbing out to do. I've got another example just underneath here where I've found a, a particular combination that I like when I'm doing my spirals and again I've this isn't actually on tracing paper this is on cartridge paper um, just as I think as I was working out what to do with it so I've again I've done that and I can use this I can place it on my paper and again I've pricked out the holes so all I need to do is keep the paper still and go round it to to get everything onto the paper that I wish to use. So just to give you a little idea of what a pricking is, it's something that is used as quite a traditional method used in embroidery to transfer a design onto fabric. I've got an example here of a Celtic blessing that I've recently embroidered for a client and this is where I've, I've written out the wording of the blessing on tracing paper. I've then used my pricking vise to then go through and, and create the holes in the tracing paper so that when it sits on the fabric I can sort of line it up correctly on the fabric and in embroidery you use a very fine powder known as pounce which is a um, usually ground up cuttlefish but you can use chalk you can use charcoal if you need a slightly darker colour you can blend the two to make a grey so a pricking is basically just the sort of template that you're going to use to transfer your design onto your fabric. 